Welcome folks, how you doing today? My name is Mike Pugh, I am your host of FPC Virtual and this is Mozilla Firefox. Um, what we're going to be doing with Mozilla Firefox is a little series of different tutorials for y'all guys, y'all gals and young children, whoever chooses to look for these videos. What I'm doing is some tutorials for the newer Mozilla Firefox and so that we can learn together but d definitely I can help y'all guys learn how to customize your Mozilla Firefox to work best because I know a great deal of people millions and millions of people online are using Firefox every day each day whether it's on their mobile or it's on their PC laptop desktop uh, Mac computers whatever whatever the case may be so let's move on past the intro basically we're gonna get into uh, they have video apps they have apps in general a marketplace for Firefox and this is more of something that is newer to Firefox for me I never really got into using too many apps through their app, their app marketplace so they have a Firefox marketplace it says discover and download web apps I'm gonna give you all guys a link to this particular page and it says that free yourself with Firefox it has a whole bunch of differing links here Firefox for desktop Firefox for Android Firefox for OS so and then they also have other cool things like Firefox hello which is a way for people to communicate to each other using video like video conferencing using Mozilla Firefox which is awesome actually then they have sync where you can actually synchronize your Firefox travels on the web on the internet social whatever the case may be that you chose to travel and do web surfing whatever your experiences on Mozilla Firefox as you have your computer or your actual um, web app for Firefox on your smartphones or tablets basically all that experience that travel that communications can be synced and saved using Firefox sync all you gotta do is create an account through Mozilla Firefox which is awesome and then last but not least the Firefox marketplace that I introduced earlier where you can discover downloads and web apps which leads to this page here video apps is what I have currently displayed they have uh, Viki, YouTube, Daily Motion, videos to images, video tube, Roarmix, uh, EBUBI, I don't know what that is, Video Suite, Open YouTube, Short Films, Down Tube, 9 Gag, FSZ Videos, Horror Movie, AVP Tube Browser, EN Player, and YouTube Loop. So currently I'm using Daily Motion and I also have YouTube so you know it's all up to you how you see fit what kind of apps you want to use I'm sure this is going to escalate and scale up a great deal the more people use Mozilla Firefox's marketplace so uh, it says show me everything for Firefox OS right here with this little drop down menu you click it and then you can go to all platforms desktop Android mobile Android tablet so it's a user-friendly type of thing you can search on the top navigation tools you got home popular new category in a search field you can register sign in so whichever way you choose you see fit you can do that um, with popular let's check popular see what they have to offer they have differing apps here see they may have some games things like that they got an emoji keyboard this one's a game called Maya they got a pho photography app a bubble shot gaming app uh, SoundCloud most people know about SoundCloud by now where you can actually share and upload your own music um, you can also find other people all across the world all across the planet using SoundCloud they have billions and billions of views per month it's a great deal of awesome stuff going on out there 
Uh, you can click this load more at the bottom that will allow you to, to access more of the archive that they have for popular and basically just keep going and finding what you like within Mozilla Firefox app marketplace so that's pretty cool and then let's see what's new you can click the new one check out that see what kind of new apps that may interest you let's check out this one called Python editor we click it and basically it's a free app if you want to download it you click free right here and that allows you to access the download nine times out of ten and it says editor.py let's look at the description edit your Python file directly in your browser save it to Google Drive integrated with Google Drive test it in your browser with sculpt use auto complex uh, completion code control plus spacebar no registration required and totally free export your file work offline so you can choose to use this for that particular purpose it has all this information differing links to click or buttons and that's about it so let's click the back button we're gonna get out of there and pretty much you understand the gist of what you should do what you could do through this use of the marketplace now let's move on we're gonna go further into how to customize your Mozilla Firefox so actually here goes another part of the marketplace the main customization for your actual uh, top browser bar here up here with the web address bar and in the search field you got your favorite star you got this list type of thing and then you have apps that are tied up here you got a, a download arrow a home button that will take you to your home page I believe and then you have this three dashes horizontal dashes that opens up your menu so let's see how we get to all this stuff so we'll go to we're on Google say we was on regular Google we just opened up our laptop desktop um, and also your smart gadgets let's say smart gadgets so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click open menu that's to start it out and then you get this access here to some of the customization tools now if you want to get to that particular customized screen that you just seen which is this tab here if you want to get to this here what you're gonna do is click it again you're gonna to go to customize at the very far left on the bottom you click that and it brings you to this screen so what can you do here that's the question what can you do well we'll go back so y'all guys can see what's really real what's going on on the screen basically from left top left to right you have to look at everything that you see which is tab 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 all these are tabs what a tab is is an open web page that basically has been utilized by you or someone else in your home on your uh, smart device smart gadget utilizing it so if you want to close these you can hit the X button there's a little tiny X button up here in your Mozilla Firefox web browser and you click it and it closes it so a good example would be here on pixabay.com really cool place for you know getting free images that you, you know maybe you want to use it for your YouTube channel or for your blogs or whatever so I just closed pixabay.com now I have other tabs so I got all these other tabs if I want to keep closing other tabs I can do that so or you can leave multiple ones open I recommend for you to keep the clutter down so don't do what I have up here this is just for display for this actual tutorial so y'all guys can learn a little bit about everything that I know alright so we're gonna go to this here open menu again go to this customized thing let's go back hold on one second I forgot to tell y'all guys now if you notice up here there's nothing at the top there's no um, message that tells us what website we're on obviously we know we're on Google but 
you can have information on the top of the screen that tells you something about the web page that you traveled on. So like if you're on Google and you're searching for a specific web page, let's go to like uh, dogs, dogs website or whatever, any kind of website, right? Maybe you're not sure about the website and you just, you found it, you're not sure about it, what's actually the main theme of that website, even though you looked at Google and you looked at the information there, or say you forget where you're at, you can look at the top of the screen. Now it's not visible, it's not here. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you what I mean in terms of the information. All right, so back to Google, we're gonna click this thing here, open menu, and then we're gonna click customize. Now, pretty much, I'm gonna show y'all how to bring that title bar up. You click this here at the very bottom left corner, and that brings up what page you're on, what web page you're on. So you see at the top it says Customize Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. Well, that's where it is. So see, it's going up, down, up, down. So you're gonna use this title bar button here and click that, and that allows you access to that. Now, how do I get to my files? Like, or how do I open the page as if it's a file, like on your desktop? Well, you're basically gonna look here you have a menu bar and you also have a, a bookmarks toolbar you want your menu bar to display pretty much and that's what it's called so you click menu bar and now you have your menu bar in display full display all right and then say you wanted to have tool your toolbar at the bottom you're gonna or bookmarks toolbar I should say you're gonna click bookmarks toolbar and that allows you to get your bookmarks. I'll do some more tutorials for bookmarks separate from this particular tutorial video so that way y'all guys can learn how to best customize your Firefox toolbar for bookmarks which is faster way to access a great deal of favorite things that you use frequently. Now I have another tutorial I'll give y'all guys a link to it y'all guys can find it around here on the screen after I edit the video uh, this little thing here indicator that has looks like a little triangle going down next to the downloads link well basically you click it it's called pocket and you'll be able to store your web favorites using that as well just like a bookmark so I just wanted to throw that in there basically to go a little bit further on this customization you got additional tools and features so these here give you additional tooling capabilities you can move these and bring them into here if you chose so like say I wanted to take this subscribe one I can drag it and then drop it in and that way I can use the tool for whatever function it applies to if I want to take the email link grab it you can drag it and drop it and put it in there and you can also do vice versa so say I wanted to take out history and put it in here just to store it and I don't need it then you can do that but I'm gonna put it back because I like the history one you can actually move it up here too you can move the apps they're interchangeable well not apps but tools I should say so these are your tools for your Mozilla Firefox this one is actually an app but some of them could be used as apps some can be tools or whatever so Hopefully y'all guys learned some good stuff right there. That's a really simple tutorial to learn how to do your customization, to learn how to put your actual title bar up here in your menu bar and your bookmark toolbar. So getting to the customization screen, like I said, a little small mini review is to go to the right corner, upper right corner here. You can open up your menu. You click it and it disappears if you was in it, if you was actually accessing it, it disappears. If you click it and you're trying to access it, it will show and display on the screen, like so. So thanks a lot for watching. Hit some thumbs up if y'all guys like the video. If you wanna watch any more tutorial videos from FPC Virtual, this is what I do. I try to help people to understand things that they may not understand and may not necessarily know why or how to make certain things work through their online experience whether it's a computer experience of computing on their desktop 
laptop, mobile device, or if it's something online using the web browser, using a website, traveling through websites, using social networks, using communicator tools. I do it. I do as much as I can to offer that communication so that way people can learn the best way they see fit from what I know and my knowledge. So each one teach one. Hopefully y'all guys will like many more tutorials I have to offer. You can check out my channel FPC Virtual off of YouTube and you can find also my website, official website which is FPC Virtual put a dash in the middle fpc-virtual.com and you can find that off of my YouTube channel. Joy, love, and peace to all. Have a pleasant day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Mike Pugh signing off. Hey folks, I got a really cool end of the video special. For those who want to learn how to use a really quick short key, what you're going to do is press your control button on your keyboard and then press the B button. And you'll see that you get bookmarks to come up right here on the left of the screen. So you can access your bookmarks toolbars here as well. And it's really a, a cooler way to do it. Um, as you notice, I don't have it up here. I'm not displaying it. Just like I explained using the custom, you can bring it up from here, bring up your menu bar, and bring up your bookmarks toolbar. So remember, control B, and you'll be able to bring it up. So you have to be on a web page, by the way. The web page that I was actually on is known as Mozilla Support. So control B, there you go, and then you can just click any of these here on the left. Uh, your toolbar or your bookmarks menu and you can access your bookmarks that way and for those who need Mozilla support go to support.mozilla.org and you'll be able to get to get to this website and this is where I found the information support forum was the location on Mozilla support and someone at the bottom gave that pretty cool tip but I found the person is Jackie boy so this is Jackie boy on Mozilla support check their location out if you go on Mozilla support he probably has some really cool answers or tips or whatever I'm not sure I never really joined through Mozilla support so I'm going to try to start using it so I can learn more and bring more tutorials to y'all guys and hopefully y'all guys like the video check it out